Hello everyone, welcome to today's math class. Today we have this nice question before us here. X plus Y equal to 10 and XY equal to 100. What is the value of X and Y that will satisfy this challenge here? But before we go to today's challenge, if you knew here, if you've seen this channel for the first time, this is All I Must TV. And if you've not subscribed, subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified by the YouTube algorithm whenever we release an amazing video like this very one you're about to watch right now. So let's go into today's challenge as you sit back. All right. So we take the first thing here, which is solution, solution to this problem. No, not a problem, just a challenge, a little challenge. Now look at these equations here. We're going to take this as our equation one and we take this as our equation two. So from equation one, we want to make, um, Let's make y the subject of the formula here. Or oh, should we make uh, x? Okay, let's make x the subject of the formula. So making x the subject of the formula, this is going to give us here our 10, then minus our y. Let's give this equation 3. All right. Now, I want to put equation 3 into equation 2. Okay, so we can say here, put equation, or equation 3 into equation, equation 2. All right, look at our equation two, which is x, y is equals to 100. So wherever we see our x here, let's put in 10 minus y. So this is going to give us here our bracket, okay? Our 10 minus y, close bracket, into our y equal to 100. What do we do? We just have to use this to open up this expression here now. So from here, we can have here to be 10 y minus y squared equal to 100. Okay. If we rearrange this, what happened? We can send this to this side, then move this to meet up with it, or take this to this side, then rearrange, multiply by your minus. Okay? To avoid all that story, all we just need to do is to rearrange the system. So rearranging this system this is going to give us here our minus y squared plus our uh, 10 y then move this to this side to give us minus 100 equal to zero now i want to eliminate this minus sign here so we multiply by minus one so if we multiply the whole of these by our uh, minus one okay then this is going to give us our y to the power of two then minus 10 y then plus our 100 equal to zero so what kind of equation is this? This is a quadratic equation, right? Yeah, it's a quadratic equation. So we can solve this using, okay, we cannot use the factorization method, but let's use the um, formula method. So using the formula method, our formula is going to give us our y will now be equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We just have to bring the value of a, b, and c from the system here, right? Good. So, what is our a? So, we have the positive one. Our b is the coefficient of just y. So, we have here minus 10, and our c is the constant 10, uh, which is 100. So, let's go ahead and do a simple substitution into our formula. Uh, here, we're going to have our y, so we're going to have y will not be equal to, so minus, minus bracket, minus 10, plus bracket, plus minus the square root of our minus 10, all raised to the power of 2, then minus, here yeah, we're going to have 4 times 1 times 100, okay, let's extend this, everything here, all over 2 into our 1, all right, so, what we do here now, we can just go ahead to open up everything here. So this guy will give us here 10 plus minus square root of our 100, then minus 400, right? Everything all over 2. Okay, so we can subtract this from this. So this guy will give us our 10 plus minus the square root of minus 300 all over two now we can split 300 into minus one times 100 times three all right so this 
in our givers here, our 10 plus minus the square root of minus 1 times 100 times our 3. Okay? Then, again, we have this all over 2. Yeah, we are having the square root of minus 1. Now, from our world of imaginary world, then we know that the square root of minus 1 is equal to i liter. Right? And the square root of 100 is 10. So we can rewrite the whole of this to give us something of this kind. 10 plus minus our 10 iota into the square root of our 3, everything all over 2. Now look at this. Here we are having 2 here and here we have 10. So we can factor out 2 from here so that we can use the 2 to cancel out this. So if we do that, this is going to give us 2 into 2 into 10 will give us 5 plus minus 5 iota to the square root of 3 with bracket all over 2. And so these two goes with these two. I believe that is not a problem. So we are now having our 5 plus minus 5 iota to the square root of 3. Now we have two solutions from here now, which is the positive and the negative one. So let's continue on this side. See what this gives us. So let's split this. So we're going to have our y1. This is the first term. So we're going to have the 5, the plus our 5, the i, iota root 3. And we have our y2 is 5 minus 5 iota root 3. So these are the two first values of y that will satisfy the original equation. Now let's go ahead and look for the value of x that will satisfy this equation. And remember, there's a place where we made x the subject of the formula. Uh, let's trace that out. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Now equation 3, we have x equal to 10 minus y, right? So we can say from, from equation 3, what is our equation 3? We have x is equal to our 10 minus y. So, yeah, we have two cases here now. So, we have case 1. This is going to give us x1 is equal to 10 minus y1. It's going to give us here our 10 minus bracket, our 5 plus our 5 iota root 3. So, let's use this minus to open up this. So, this is going to give us 10 minus 5 minus 5 iota root 3. So, this, this will give us our 5 minus 5 iota root 3. So this is our x1. Our All right. Our x1 is this. Then we have to look for our x2. Again, we're going to use this same relationship. x2 will now be 10 equal to 10 minus our y2. So this is going to give us 10 um, minus bracket our 5 minus 5 iota root 3. Okay, so opening up this bracket, we have here 10 minus our 5 plus our 5 iota root 3. This will end up giving us our 5 here plus 5 iota root 3. So this is our x2 that will satisfy this equation. All right. Now let's look at the two roots or the two pairs of root here. Now we have our x, our x1. When our x1 is equal to 5 minus 5 iota, this is iota, please, iota root 3. Our y1 is 5, then plus 5 iota root 3. They are conjugate. Then look at our x2. Our x2 is 5 plus 5 iota root 3, then our y2 is 5 minus 5 iota root 3. Okay, so these are the two pairs of solutions that actually satisfy this nice math only paired challenge. If you love something from this video tutorial, drop it in the comment section. We we'll see you in our next video. But till then, keep winning. I remember Jake's does love you. Bye. But now.